Hello everyone and assalamu alaikum. How are you? So today I will be sharing egg rolls recipe. Some people call it egg rolls. Some people call it spring rolls. So this recipe I'll be adding some chicken, some wedgies. It's of your choice, whatever you want to add to it. And you can make them as many as you want to. And you can freeze them for upcoming Ramadan. You can just take them out of the Ziploc and fry them. So let's jump to our recipe. So first step is I'll be using these kind of noodles. You can use Raymond noodles, Knorr noodles, but they has to be thin noodles, not this other noodles which you use for pasta or other stuff. So these are the kind of noodles I am using. You basically just need two packs of them mostly we don't use them that much because you will be adding them at the end when you're about to wrap your spring rolls we just need a little bit so first step is we will be boiling them to get we will be boiling just two packets you can boil them and add some oil in it so don't they don't stick to each other if you want to make the egg rolls later during the day or tomorrow Oops, I dropped that in and it was so hard to take it out. Uh-oh, uh, let's do this again. There you go, I got you. Okay, so these much packets I'm using right now because I'll be making a lot of them. So as you can see, our noodles are boiled. I put some oil in it and I covered them because I have to prepare other materials as well. So this was the first step. So I will be putting that on a side. My next step is boiled chicken. Now here the chicken you can use boneless breast pieces are totally fine too. I like to use leg and thigh pieces. I boil them because they're more juicier and they're not dry. So add salt as how much you need and i usually also add one tablespoon of black pepper in it as well our next step is you put oil in a pan add your boiled chicken shred them into pieces and just brown them a little bit just very little bit and with very little oil you don't want it to be too oily i'm using this colsa mix it has carrots in it cabbage in it and all this stuff it's shredded already so i will be adding this to my chicken and cook it for about two to three more minutes that's all i'll be adding about three tablespoon of soy sauce and add black pepper as much as you need to there are no certain quantities and salt and then mix every one thing together and cook it for about two to three more minutes and these are the tyj spring roll pastry i'm using these are very easy to work with they're amazing they turn out very crispy when you fry them so i will be i use them both for samosas and spring rolls so please follow the steps and look at the video carefully if you want to find out how to wrap the spring rolls so the material i made i'm putting that in but also with that material i will also be putting in some noodles at the end this much noodles you can use or you can use a little bit more if you like more noodles in your spring rolls or you don't have to use them at all and to for wrapping egg rolls i already um beaten the egg so i am will be using egg as adhesive so how to stick the egg roll together into one piece so uh, now i'll be taking little bit of egg and i will brush it on my wrapping sheet like just like that
and yep and guys there you go as you can see my egg roll is ready spring rolls nice and easy it wasn't hot at all and guess what this is my first time i'm making them by myself and i laid them in a tray to just to show you guys this is how many i made and now i will be freezing them putting them in separate ziploc bags to use for later on during ramadan like you can put like five to four in one ziploc as how many you need and then just fry them Fry them until they turn golden brown. Yep, and there you go guys this was the recipe hope you liked it this is my cute little ramadan setup for my samosas and spring rolls just wanted to share until then see you next time bye bye